County. Tonight, 1A Biggersville. They're 2 0 this year. Scored 60 points in their ball game last week. So they're off to a really good start. Been by there a bunch. You can see the school and the field from the highway. There's a school, a water tower, a barbecue place, and a Dollar General. And a lot of really good folks. I went, uh, started at Biggerville in second grade in 1966, and I've been here since the second grade. So people in Biggerville have been so good to me. And the good Lord, I'm just really blessed by what I've, what I've been able to experience. After school, 30, there was 28 kids out there, and uh, we counted the orders after, you know. We're just, we're just blessed to support the school, and they, they sure support me. Now, this is the busy night, like the, Friday. yeah, the, okay. everyone's coming. It's a close-knit <laughs> community. I mean, they love the kids, and, and, and like I said, I've been in Biggerville for, for 60 years, and it's just, just a great place. I mean, great place to raise your family and kids and support the school. Smithville, who's always uh, kind of been a 1A powerhouse, hasn't played yet this year. They haven't been able to really even practice as much because of uh, COVID. So kind of an interesting dynamic because Biggersville has never beaten Smithville. At least that's what I'm told. So it's actually a huge opportunity for that community. I was supposed to say I'll take uh, a hamburger and uh, uh, Monday coke. You got any chill? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's game between the Biggersville Lions and the Smithville Seminoles. And what a game we have in store tonight as the 2-0 Lions take on the 0-0 Smithville Seminoles. Well, let's see if the Lions can get their run game going with senior number 23, Goldman Butler. So tonight's matchup getting ready to take place as the Biggersville Lions won the toss. They have elected to defer to the second half. We thank you all uh, for tuning in to tonight's ball game. Smithville brings tradition that people long for, and that's kind of what we long for here. You know, again, we're, we're building it, but they've kind of set the standard, especially in 1A, North Mississippi and, and across Mississippi in general. So, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, to my knowledge, they've told me we've never beaten them. So, uh, th what an accomplishment that would be, you know, and that's, that's what we shoot for, and just to kind of set the tone for the whole season for bigger and better things, hopefully. It's a hometown. It, it's, it's just a, a big family. Everybody here knows everybody. Uh, Friday night over the last four or five years has just uh, increasingly become more and more exciting. You know, our team, these kids have grown to start in, in, in eighth grade and ninth grade as freshmen and, and played a lot of football and uh, come a long way. This is a, a pretty good crowd. You know, we, we were limited on the number of tickets we can sell. So you know, obviously normally there would be a lot more people here. Uh, but yeah, they definitely got a good crowd tonight. They snap and they're gonna go to the air. They're gonna throw deep. They might have a man. Intercepted again. By number eight, Jarrell Jones. That's the second pick of the game. 
two three and outs, two interceptions for the Lions. They are turning on all cylinders tonight here, Devin, as they will get the ball back once again and another opportunity here to score. Here is the clock going to tick down uh, 2-0. The Lions are going to take a dominant, a dominant victory over the Smithville Seminoles, 64-0. And I do think that this could be the Lions' year if they show dominance in their first three games, but it's still pretty early. A great game tonight for the Beers of Lions. We thank you all for joining us here. Signing off from the Lions then. The final score is 64-0. The Beers of Lions win. This is Lions sportscaster Aiden McAllister. Joined with me by Devin Bullock. We thank you all for joining in. Uh, thank you and have a good night.